Hey everyone, I'm Jeremy and today I'm going to show you how to make this homemade 12 inch disc sander. I want to thank Wooden Toolman for his inspiration. So let me go ahead and run it up so you can see how it works. So here it is. You might get that rattle if your disc isn't perfectly round. Um, it's not a big deal. It still works just fine. You just have to put up with that sound. Okay, so now we'll get on to how I made it. Um, I'll start off with what I bought to make this with. I had everything except the pulley. Uh, if you have a pulley with your motor, that's one less thing you gotta buy. I had to buy four washers, two nuts, and one bolt. This bolt is a half inch bolt that is 10 inches long. Um, everything else I had. Okay, so I'll start with the back side. Um, this is a one and a half inch pulley. Uh, I already had this belt and then I made this seven inch pulley on my table saw out of a piece of plywood. Uh, I'll put a link to how I learned how to make that in the description. Then I drilled a half inch hole in the middle of this pulley. I took a pencil and marked where this head should be, chiseled it out with a chisel, and then forced it in. It wasn't quite big enough, so when I forced it in I found I didn't need any type of glue or epoxy to hold that in. Then, spin it back around, I have my bolt my pulley, a, a washer, over here on this side I have another washer, a nut, a washer, a block, this happens to be a block of hard maple, and then on the other side of the hard maple I have a washer and another nut holding that on to the bolt. Then I have my sanding disc which is just a 12 inch uh, round piece of melamine. I did have to bore out the center right here for that bolt and nut that are sticking um, out of the other side of that hard maple. And then this piece of melamine is just screwed to that hard maple right here in all four corners of the block. One thing I forgot to say was I, I did have to buy these discs. These are 12 inch, 100 grit discs. Uh, I got a two pack off of Amazon for around nine or $10 shipped. Um, and then the only other thing I made was this platform. Uh, I made it with some scrap wood, a piece of melamine. I put a hole right here for a dust port. I hook up my shop vac to it and it keeps everything pretty dust free as long as I stay on this side of the disc. If I stay right here, it pulls all the dust into the box. If I, you know, come over here a little bit, then the dust tends to fly up into the air. All right, thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave me a comment. I'll get back as soon as I can. And I want to thank Wooden Toolman one more time for his inspiration.